good afternoon everyone i hope you are doing very well and uh, you have enjoyed previous lecture in the previous lecture uh, we discussed about uh, fibonacci heaps basic introduction to fibonacci heaps what these data structures are in this lecture we're going to be discussing about uh, some basic operations what we can do uh, on this data structure before doing that let's try to understand uh, do we really need fibonacci heaps as we as you see we already have a binary heap data structure uh, which we uh, discussed uh, in previous lectures and uh, why do we need Fibonacci heaps? So if you see here, um, I have listed a couple of uh, operations here. Um, if we see the time complexity or how costly the operations would be uh, on binary heap and Fibonacci heaps. So especially if you look at the insert operation, binary heap would take a log n time on worst case compared to Fibonacci uh, heap will take uh, a constant time, one time, theta is one, okay? Similarly, there are other operations, say extract min operation, union, uh, decrease key operation, and delete key operation. If we see the worst case complexity for these operations, say we find it uh, in the order of uh, log n compared to the amortized, if we do, do the amortized analysis for Fibonacci heaps for these operations, we find it uh, big O log n. And say for union, it's uh, n for binary heap, and uh, big theta 1 is for Fibonacci heaps. So certainly there are certain applications where Fibonacci heaps are desirable, especially uh, the applications where uh, we have the number of extract min and delete operations um, smaller relative to other operations. Okay. Such, such, appli um, such applications uh, you may find uh, in network optimization algorithms, VLSI physical design automation algorithms, say for example, computing minimum spanning tree, okay, or single source shortest path alg algorithm. So in those al algorithms, uh, if you have uh, a good data structure, say if you implement Fibonacci heap, it becomes, uh, you know, your program will be efficient, faster, you know. It's like, uh, no matter how good is your algorithm, if uh, the underlying data structure is not supporting it, mm, you will not get the uh, optimized, optimal performance. It's very simple that your algorithm, think about, it's like a driver of a car and data structure is car. Now, if, you, if your car make is not good, no matter how good is the driver, you're gonna, you're gonna run slower or you will not get that much, uh, you know, efficiency. Um, but if your car is good and your algorithm or driver is poor, then also the same case. So both has to match. The car is good as well as driver is good. Then you get the best performance. Same way uh, with the algorithms and data structures. So we, we got to have good data structure which supports that kind of application and on along with the good algorithm, okay, to get the uh, best performance. All right, let's uh, talk about how we can create a Fibonacci heap. So initially, uh, we don't have anything. So what we do, um, that there is no node. So H represents the heap and how many number of uh, elements in, in the, uh, or node, basically here we are calling node. It's a, it's a bigger, uh, it's not single element, it's uh, a, a node has its own property, it has more information associated with it. So zero node and uh, h dot min, which is supposed to be point to the minimum key, a node, which is nil, okay, and we just return it. So that's our simple process. Now, after we have this, this h, 
if we can insert nodes into it how we can do that so it's simple that let's assume that we have a node whose key is already defined okay and we want to insert this into our heap h so it's a very simple say line number one to four here they are just uh, saying us to you know update the property of uh, this node let's say degree uh, x dot p is the, the pointer to its parent x dot child is the pointer to its child and x dot mark is false means this node is not marked okay now line number five to seven we're gonna take a decision that if this key if, if the key of the heap h is nil means there is no element in the heap then we, we are it's a very simple job we just create this uh, uh, x node as a root okay and insert that node in the root list and set uh, the h dot min to x okay so how we can create remember that when we say create a root list so in the root list you know that we have you know left and right pointers same way we're gonna make left and right pointers and that's all you know embedded within this line okay and we have just a root list okay this is our root list just one element in our root list of the of this heap okay so we, we did that now if if we have already the heap and min pointer is not nil it means that we have elements already in the heap so what do we do we insert this node x into the root list of the heap okay and now if the x dot key is less than h dot min dot key means if this key is less than the uh, the already h dot min keys then we make this new node as a root node if not then we just don't touch the original root node okay that's what these lines are doing and we increment how many nodes this heap contains by one simple there is nothing complicated here now let's talk about uh, something else remember we were talking about uh, potential in the previous lecture so how we can make use of the potential to uh, get the you know um, some idea about uh, complexity of this algorithm okay based uh, which is on Fibonacci heap so let's talk about let's h be the input Fibonacci heap and after inserting this x node our Fibonacci heap we call it h tick okay so the new uh, heap or after insertion uh, we have how many uh, th would be the how many trees or uh, how many nodes in the root uh, list of the heap h okay so t tick h or i should be calling it t of uh, h tick or either way it's basically how many trees you have in your new same thing uh, it would be that you you previously uh, whatever number of uh, trees or nodes in your root list have you increment by one because we are just simply inserting this node into the root list okay and we are not touching its marked nodes so our mark nodes for the new heap which we are calling h tick okay or m tick h same same uh, notation either way you can call it is equal to mh untouched okay so how much would be the potential increase for the h tick new heap after insertion it's simply that you calculate the potential of of the calculate the potential of the new heap 
and subtract the potential of the old heap or you know the initial heap so in this case if we just in, uh, insert this element how much potential increase we are doing here so we, we just substitute these values here in this formula and we came out to the one all right so what it means that uh, the increased potential or potential increase for uh, for this heap uh, after inserting a node okay so we can we can use it in a formula for the amortized cost actual cost plus increased potential actual cost is our in big o notation is o1 plus increased potential is 1 so our amortized cost is o1 see how simply we have uh, made use of potential to calculate uh, the the cost of operation for 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 this algorithm okay now let's talk about an example uh, how we can insert so remember this uh, this figure we discussed this in the previous lecture hypothetical uh, fibonacci heap structure uh, with the node 6, 15, and 28 are marked, and we want to insert node with the key value 19 in this heap. Okay, so remember that uh, node 22, 6, 3, and 16, these are in the root list of the Fibonacci heap H, and H dot min is 3. Okay, and we want to insert node with the key value 19 so say 19 is bigger than 3 it means that our minimum key value is still 3 so we, we don't want to change the pointer h dot min okay we just simply insert uh, 19 in this root list how we can do that it's very simple it is very very simple okay so what we do here, this root here, we, we make, we insert this 19 and we change the pointers. Okay, so the pointer which is coming from 3 now will point to 19 and 19 will point to 6. Okay, now pointer which was earlier going from 6 to 3 now it will go from 6 to 19 and from 19 to 3 and we have inserted this root uh, in the root list this node 19 okay very simple now how much would be the new potential of this new heap okay simply that how many uh, trees in the root list of the heap are so one two three four five remember this uh, 19 node it just means that we have this tree and inside this tree we have just one node okay so one two three four five five okay plus two times and remember we didn't touch any marked node so earlier marked node was 6 15 and 28 so 1 2 3 marked nodes so we have potential new potential 11 which is 1 above the uh, potential of the uh, heap before inserting this new node or potential increase would be just 1 Alright guys, um, so this was, uh, this was a, uh, a quick lecture on how we can create and insert a node in this uh, Fibonacci heap. And thank you very much for, for listening this lecture. I hope uh, I made contribution to your learning. And thank you for subscribing and those who haven't subscribed. I would recommend you to subscribe to the professor's channel on YouTube. 
so that you can get a notification as soon as I upload new videos. Have a wonderful day.